In this video, <coughs> we're going to talk about testing for file open errors uh, when reading in or writing to a file, but mostly reading in from a file. <coughs> so, because if the file doesn't exist when you're writing out to it, then you'll just create it. Um, but let's say that we're trying to read in from a file that doesn't exist. So we can see if we add existing item, there's nothing in this um, directory that for us to add, so there's no files to read from. So let's say that I'm gonna go ahead and just create an ifstream object called fin, and we'll do fin.open, and I'm going to try and open data.txt, but once again, data.txt does not exist. Um, and then I try to, you know, int num, and then fin num, and then cout num. This is obviously not going to work because there's nothing inside data.txt because it doesn't exist. So we go ahead and run this, and what's this? We get a garbage value. That's not super helpful. Um, so what we can do to make sure that we're actually reading in correctly is right here, we can say if not fin. And what this means is if this failed to initialize or if this fails to be a um, correct or valid object, then right here we can see out error opening file. Please check it, check, we'll say check yourself before you wreck yourself because we're thug life when we're programming in C++. And then we can actually just return zero right here. Um, and this will end our program for us. Another, and some would consider this a better way to do this, is we can modify this so that this says if not fin, and then we can actually put else right here. Um, and then we can take all of this and put it inside of our else because that way we only have one return statement. And this is part of a programming paradigm called uh, one in, one out for every function. So this is the idea that you should only have one return statement inside of a function because if you're returning at multiple places, it's kind of hard to follow the flow of your program. So we'll go ahead and do this. So if not fin, meaning that there was an error, go ahead and um, output some good old... I want to say Beastie Boys lyrics. Um, and then if not, then go ahead and do this. We'll see. Oh, sure enough, error opening file. Please check yourself before you wreck yourself. Perfect. So we know that there was a problem opening this file. Now if we add a new item and we add data.txt just to make sure. And in here we'll go ahead and put in 9 because we only care about one number. Now we run it. Then we get nine and press any key to continue, which we should put an end line right there. Let's go ahead and put that and rerun it one more time. And nine, press any key to continue. We return zero. We don't see this error because we have checked for the validation. And since it is working, then we know we can continue.